Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, let me share a method on how to create a multiple desktop on Mac Mini. So in this Mac OS, let me share you how to create a multiple desktop. So using this multiple desktop feature, you can able to customize your work as per your wish. So like uh, based on your category, you can customize your work for each desktop. So we have already seen a uh, different desktop feature in Windows 11, but in Mac only, we have already seen the the different desktop feature from the earlier so now to create a multiple desktop so first of all you want to just click on the Apple menu and then uh, go to the system preferences option so under the system preferences option so in the Mac OS multiple desktop feature option as named as a mission control so you have to click on this mission control and after that here is the shortcut key so for uh, so to activate the mission control, so here is the keyboard shortcut. So you have to press control plus up arrow. So then only the multiple desktop menu will be open. Now in your Mac OS or in your Mac mini PC, so you want to just press control plus up arrow. Once you have actually pressed, so I have already created a three different desktops. So in case if you don't need means, so you can just remove the desktop like this. So like this, you can remove all the desktops. So now we have only one desktop. So to create a multiple desktop, so firstly you need to press control plus up arrow and then once you hover your mouse at the top, so at the left side here is the plus button. Just click on that. Now you have created the second desktop. And like that you can create a multiple desktop as per your wish. Just you want to press control plus up arrow and, and just you want to uh, click on the plus symbol and after that you can able to create multiple desktop as per your wish. So you can able to create unlimited desktop. So I am just now creating a two desktop. So one is a primary desktop. So here I am doing some of my official work and in the second desktop. So I have actually categorized this desktop for other some sort of uh, works I want to do. So you can also uh, able to do some of the customization like uh, switching program from one desktop to other desktop like that so in this desktop I am just opening the finder application and then I am opening a Safari browser so I'm just minimizing these both programs and I'm just changing this desktop color so I'm just changing the background image so to I'm just changing like this images and that's it so once it actually changes this now i am again switching to the desktop one so you can able to change a background image as per your wish for both the desktop so you can create a unique background image for each desktop and at the same time you can able to switch the programs from one desktop to other desktop so for example in this desktop one so there is no available windows but in the desktop two so there are uh, two available windows so i am working on the two different uh, softwares in case if I want to switch this software from a desktop uh, one to desktop two means so just to click on that uh, particular software and just click and hold and drag and uh, put it on the desktop two and that's it now that particular application will be goes to the desktop two so like that you can able to categorize the application and you can able to switch the application from one desktop to other desktop as per your wish. Then in case if you want to switch from one desktop to other desktop means so there is also a keyboard shortcut you can easily uh, change from you can easily switch between the desktop one to desktop two by just pressing the control plus side keys. So you just you want to press control and then the side arrow. So when you press when you press the right arrow, it goes to the second desktop and, and when you press the left arrow, it goes to the first desktop. So like this, you can able to customize. So in case if you have a multiple desktop like that means, so you can uh, just uh, switch between uh, all this desktop using that the keyboard shortcut. So this is the one of the unique feature in the Windows 11 also, this feature is not having. So you want to just press control and press the right arrow so you can switch between the all the different desktops and on pressing the left arrow, you can go to the previous desktops. So like that you can able to switch the desktop easily using this keyboard shortcut and in case if you want to change the keyboard shortcut as per your wish also, you can do that. So I have already posted a video 
how to customize keyboard shortcut in Mac Mini. So using that methods, you can able to customize these keyboard shortcuts as per your wish and based on your uh, working method. So these are all the, some of the good things uh, in the on creating the multiple desktop feature on this Mac Mini. So the one thing is that uh, so you can't able to change the name of the desktop for the each desktop you have actually created. So the desktop one, desktop two, desktop three. So like that, it will be actually default one. So you can't able to change the customized name as per your wish. So it will be remains as it is uh, forever. So that's the one thing. But in the Windows 11 PC, I can able to customize that uh, desktop name as per my wish. For example, for this desktop, I given a name as a work, and this desktop I given a name as a personal. So like that, I can able to customize so that I can have a uh, some sort of uh, better clarity to use a different uh, desktop and I can able to categorize my work and I can able to so focus on my work perfectly so that is a one feature it's actually missing in this Mac OS so what are guys thoughts on this multiple desktop feature on this uh, Mac mini let me know in the comment section below and in case if you are already a Mac mini user means and you are already using this feature means let me share your experience in the comment section and as well as if you are a Windows 11 user also means let me share your different experience between the Mac OS and the Windows 11 so that also in the comment section overall that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys